After entering a guilty plea in November, April Bradford, a former teacher, principal, and coach, was sentenced to three and a half years in prison for the sexual assault of students. I spoke with her victims, Jessica Hensley and Mary Prater, to hear how they felt about the case coming to a close. I, I knew, in my mind, I always planned on waiting to come forward when someone else did, you know, to validate their claim. Um, I never thought that it would happen like this, and I definitely never thought that she would take the plea deal without us having to go to trial. I still can't believe it. Like, she, she's never owned up to anything, so I'm surprised that she did this time. That's why we done it, you yeah. know. There was no money involved, there was nothing involved. It was to strictly make it to make it stop, yeah. I mean, our children are our future, you know, not just our offspring, our children, but you know, the generations behind us, that's our future. So it means everything. Apple Appalachian Wireless is spreading the love all month long, offering $500 off select devices on the Appalachian Advantage or nationwide mix and match plans. Plus, new lines get an additional $100 off because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. While in court, Bradford failed to look at Hensley and Prater, and when asked about her demeanor, they stated they felt like she had no remorse for her actions. I feel like she had no remorse because She's she doesn't think what she done was wrong. But I'm sorry, anyone that wants to have sex with a child is disturbed. She's still blaming us. She's out telling the community again that um, the only reason she did it was so because people side with the victims. She, it, no, she didn't tell the truth once again, you know, so. But ultimately no one would plead guilty to that. No one would say that they sexually assaulted two children you know, never be able to vote because you're a felon, can't own a firearm, can't be in the same home with child. Like, no one would admit to that unless they actually done it. When asked about the sentence, the women stated they felt justice was served. What we truly wanted out of everything was the lifetime sex offender registry. Um, you know, it will follow us for the rest of our lives. So we want it to follow her for the rest of hers as well. Um, so that, was really what we wanted over everything. The additional part was the three and a half years. Um, that was just a cherry on top. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.